What's up, YouTube? This is Tommy from Green Rhino, uh, here with another video. Um, this video I'm talking about um, figuring out what you're going to charge to do carpets. I know it's a big deal, especially when you're starting out, not knowing exactly what you should charge, worried about undercharging, worried about overcharging, um, trying to figure out where you need to start and how to get the information to base your price on. So um, so I thought I'd give a little bit of information on what I would do, what I, I have done. Um, I, I know most people don't want to go around calling different carpet cleaners and getting estimates and stuff. I mean, that's a way to do it. But um, basically, you got to figure out what your business model is going to be like. See, I keep it simple. You know, I don't have packages. What I do is I have my prices to where if I walk into a house and the house is extremely dirty, it's not like I'm going to go in there and upcharge them, you know, um, that, so they're thinking I'm doing some bait and switch which a lot of carpet cleaners do, and, and, and uh, it just puts a bad name out for us. Um, so basically, I, I don't, I don't, I'm pretty much a $45 an hour, a $45 room guy, okay? Um, if you go around, people searching around, Craigslist, you're finding people that are doing, you know, rooms for $20, and, and uh, I'm not sure if they're coming in and then just, um, switching up when they get into the house or, or not. I did work with one company and, and that's what they did and I didn't work there long. Um, so I got a little quick easy way to where you can figure out what the high dollar carpet cleaners are charging. So everybody heard of the Stanley Steamers, right? I'm sure you have. Very popular and you know they're pretty much top of the line carpet cleaners you know their prices um, match that so for every city you live in um, Stanley Stimmers they actually adjust their price on the cost of li living so what you do is you go ahead and get on Stanley Steamer website request a quote It'll tell you to put in the zip code, and um, just start messing around with the with the uh, with the quote. You know how many rooms you want done and stuff like that, and kind of figure it out what what on average they're charging per room, um, and and then go from there. You know, I, if you're just starting out, yes, you don't want to be um, as uh, pricey as them. But then again, don't go too low. So I, I would suggest just going a little under um, what uh, Stanley Steamers is doing, and um, go from there. You know, don't start low. You're gonna work many, many hours um, compared to guys that are doing like my business model. Put it this way: I'll do four hours work compared to. Somebody doing eight hours working, make the same amount of money. You're doing half the work for the same amount of money, and that's smart business. So, so my point is, I suggest checking them out, getting 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 a uh, estimate um, online. There, very easy. You don't even have to talk to anybody. Adjust your prices. Go ahead and make yourself a price list. Figure it all out. And uh, when somebody gives you a call, or if you go door to door and you give an estimate, then you know per room what to charge. So if you have a um, living room dining room combo, that's two rooms. You know anything over 120 square foot. You know um, will be around. So any, anything around 200 square foot will be around two rooms. So I basically say about 120 square foot is room. So um, just times that by 
the dollar amount you want to do. So, um, and, the, and the way you do this is you're not charging a little bit of money, so you're not running in there trying to get it done as quick as possible and then and then um you got to get to your next job you're not you're not really taking your time and you're not using your extra tools to get that carpet looking as best as it can because you're not making much money on it but if you're charging you know without having to do the upsell in there so you see a wet red stain in there um, you know, it's, you can have to steam it out. So most companies will say, well, that's going to be uh, $20 to, for me to do, or $40 to get that out. No, you know what? You get your steamer. Right when you go in there and start your job up, you spot, look for the, you know, if you see a, a, a red stain, plug in your steamer and set it on it and start doing everything else. It's not going to take you any extra time. You just do your little pre spray there you know while you're cleaning the copper it, it's it's uh, removing the red stain so you know you're charging decent money because you're giving excellent service you're d going over you know over what uh, they expect you to do and they'll be really happy about that and just present yourself professionally and do these little things that People, a lot of people aren't there out there doing, except for the top guys, and they know. You know, it's image, you know. They want to see you come in there with a, uh, you know, your work shirt, collared shirt, best, you know. If not, at least a shirt with your logo on it. Buy some corner guards. Always use these. Always, you know. Even if they're not there, if they pop in on you and they see that, they're going to be really happy to see that you're using corner guards. Also, get yourself some booties. You can get these really cheap online. And then you wear them as you're doing the carpet clean. And then before you leave, leave a set for each of the people uh, that live there. And that goes a long ways too. Also, go down to... Lowe's or Home Depot, get yourself a rug. I think this costs seven bucks. You know, put that at the front door or anywhere that you, you know, you want to wipe your feet, feet off on in and out of the house or whatever. You know, a convenient location. But that just shows that you care, right? You know, make yourself some flyers, you know, with the services you, you offer. Like I do tile cleaning, I do furniture cleaning. You know, I do, uh, we also offer house cleaning. That's something else, too, you can combine into your services. Um, maybe your wife wants to do something on the side or, or anyway. Um, so, yeah, I get her a lot of business. And I deal with high-end clients, so she makes great money, you know. Um, and she doesn't work that much. And like I said, if you charge more, they expect more, but go, go, be an overachiever. Just like I said in another video, act like it's your job interview. And if they see all that and they stay and, and the carpet comes out great, they're gonna call you again. I'll make another video on how to uh, get repeat customers, um, to have them always remember you when it, when the time comes around for the carpet cleaning. But anyway, that's just what I want to talk about today. Um, there was some issues that I ran into when I started my business and, um, trial and error and, you know, I mean, it all came together at the end, but, um, so I hope this helps you out a little bit. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment and, uh, subscribe and like, and, um, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great one.